What is up guys? My name is Hussein and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about honeypots, man. Uh, so before the video starts, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Exploited System. And before we start, I just want to thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. A lot of cool content's coming up, and a lot of things uh, coming up. I'm gonna be announcing uh, announcing some things on Twitter and Discord. So make sure you join my Discord and Twitter. And yeah, I'm really thankful for you guys. So let's get started. What are honeypots, man? Uh, honeypots are basically fake systems deployed by people, organizations, and other entities to log user activity and the way they approach the system to hack it or do any other activity on it. So basically a honeypot is a, let's say a real server that is basically deployed in the wild for hackers to hack it, but not actually hack it. Once they get in into it, everything gets logged on it. And once it gets logged, they might get blocked by the organization deploying this uh, honeypot and so on. Honeypot illustration. So this is how a honeypot illustrates. Uh, that's a simple illustration of a honeypot. Um, as you can see, that's the firewall, that's the internal network, it's outside the internal network. And yeah. Uh, why are honeypots deployed? Uh, the simple answer is that honeypots are deployed for people or organizations to study how an attacker behaves, examine his moves, and sometimes they're deployed for other uses like confusing the attacker. Sometimes honeypots are deployed on big uh, organizations just to confuse the attackers and not attack their real infrastructure a basic working of a honeypot so basically a basic simple honeypot logs user IP address uh, logs the keystrokes submitted by the user the resources the user has accessed modified or deleted and a lot of other things really you can configure your own honey your honeypot to act based on your needs so basically a simple honeypot let's say an SSH honeypot I'm gonna talk about that later on just logs the user IP address the username and password he logged into it. Types of honeypots. There are four types. Low interaction honeypots, medium interaction honeypots, high interaction honeypots, and pure honeypots. Low interaction honeypots. These types, these types of honeypots run on limited services and have restricted permissions. They can be used to track UDP, TCP, ICMP, and other protocols and services. So let's say for example an SSH honeypot uh, it's deployed and it only tracks the user IP address. So basically these are simple honeypots. By the way guys I've created my Twitch channel it's called at one Hussein twitch.tv slash at one Hussein I'll be live streaming and I'll be having some fun and sometimes I'll announce some things also you could ask me some things in my um, uh, live session when I'm creating uh, creating it so it would be appreciated if you guys can get me to 100 followers I would really appreciate it and I'll be giving uh, giving away something soon so you guys want to follow me on Twitch thank you guys services as the real application the purpose of this honeypot is to collect more information on the attack and so the organization can take extra time in medicating the attack so basically these are real functioning honeypots uh, that are one on applications so they act like a real application High interaction honeypots. These types of honeypots are real applications, but they're vulnerable. These are hard to maintain, but the success rates are high. So basically, let's say there's um, a website um, that runs a vulnerable uh, web server. So the, uh, and in this case, it's a high interaction honeypot because it's a real application. Uh, it's running a vulnerable service. And the attackers will think it might be vulnerable, so let's hack it. Once they hack it, they'll realize that it's a honeypot and they might get blocked. And in this case, the organization or the person collected some information and understood how the attacker hacked this machine so they can prevent it, prevent the, uh, the way the, ha the hacker hacked their, this machine. 
Pure honeypots. Pure honeypots. These types of honeypots are deployed on real working environments. Yes, real working environments. So once the attacker sees it, he'll directly spend time enumerating and exploiting it. Once he does, the organization will be alerted. And like that, they knew the attacker's way... Uh, ways of attacking the machine and they'll prevent future future attacks like this so basically these type of honeypots are deployed on real machines that are run on real organizations but uh, so they can uh, bait the attacker as much as possible once the attacker gets in he gets blocked so in this case the organization understood how the attacker hacked into a real system Honeypots deployments. Honeypots have different types of uh, types, and these types are email honeypots, malware honeypots, database honeypots, spider honeypots. Basically, email honeypots. Basically, in a uh, email honeypots, so someone uh, can create 100 e fake emails, and he'll be waiting for an attacker to send a fake spam email. Once they do, they're gonna track this spam email, the way it was sent, the timing, and so on. Like that, uh, organizations or people can understand how malicious actors send fake emails malware honeypots malware honeypots are used to trap malware in the network then later analyzed by the organization so malware honeypots are deployed let's say on a normal server uh, and this type of honeypot detects um, a malware that is deployed in the server once it detects it it, it traps it and it locks it down like that uh, the organization can be able to take a sample from this malware and analyze it and understand um, the surface of it the database honeypots uh, basically these honeypots act as a vulnerable database which lures attackers into thinking the database is vulnerable and it has credit cards for example basically database honeypots are are vulnerable databases that are uh, that are deployed in the wild once the hacker sees this vulnerable database he, he'll be thinking he might find some top-notch info maybe credit cards for example and yeah spider honeypots these, these honeypots are used to stop uh, web um, spider honeypots these honeypots are used to stop web crawlers that crawl the internet for a certain malicious purpose how to set up honeypots by the time you see this i'll have a video uploaded in my channel on how to do it so if you guys want me to upload a video on how to set up a honeypot just let me know down in the description because honeypots can get uh, complicated by when setting it up from we can set a simple one or a complicated one and analyze the things we get because we will get results uh, so these are honeypots you can download digital ocean offers a honeypot surface uh, Kauri is a honeypot uh, to honey py honey net honey trap specter kf sensor and in here you can find a, cur a curated list of honeypots and thank you for tuning in to this video guys i really appreciate it make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on twitter at exploited system and yeah i'm out guys peace